In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable the functions for a Notifier NFS640 fire alarm panel. And uh, on the inside here, you can see on this little sticker, technically it's the NFS2640, so it's the upgraded version. It's basically Notifier NFS640. So here you have your notifier on the front panel. But, uh, currently we have a trouble on the panel, so that's part of my test. So it's okay that it's there, so don't worry about that. We have a trouble light on, it's all part of my test. Um, so to access the menu to get to the disable functions, you're gonna use your board here. You're gonna go to your enter button right here. And you're gonna see this, this screen information is gonna change when I hit it. So now I'm in the menu, so it's asking me do I wanna go to programming. Press one for programming, two for read status. So I'm gonna hit number one over here for programming. Now it's gonna say, enter programming uh, password. So it's gonna be five ones. So I'm gonna hit the one five times. So I'm gonna go one, and you see the little stars come up as I, I hit it. So I'm gonna hit four more times. Two, three, four, five. So that's five ones. Now I'm gonna hit the enter. And now we're in that menu, so the trouble activates when you're in the menu, so I'm just gonna hit the acknowledge to silence the beep. Now it gives me uh, some options. So if I want to disable, I hit number one. I want to check sensitivity, number two. Clear, number three. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, clear ver number three. Clear issue, number four. Time, number five. Six is walk test. So we want to go to number one, which is our disable. So I'm gonna again hit the number one. And now it's going to ask me uh, how I want to disable it. Do I want to disable by zone? Do I want to disable by module? Do I want to disable by detector? Or do I want to disable by output? So for this panel, we have uh, zones. So they all start with Z. So to disable a zone, you're going to hit Z and then the numbers. Or if you want to do a module, you hit uh, M. Or you sorry, you hit the pound sign and then the numbers. And detectors you hit the uh, the star and then the numbers, or the output, you hit the little and symbol to the numbers. So on the board corresponding, I'm gonna hit the Z right here for zone. If I wanna do it by module, I hit the pound sign, which is right here for module. And if I wanna do detector, I hit the star. Sorry for the focus, got bad lighting in here. So I hit the star. I want to disable detector and then for the output for the and symbol it's right here right so depending on what you want to disable you can do by zone with the Z the module I'm sorry the detector with the star the module with the pound or the output with the and symbol so I'm doing by zone because this is what we have here for zones so zone 99 is NAC zone 98 ele elevator recall zone 97 HVAC zone 96 uh, server room and zone 95 security door. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the NAC. So I'm gonna do zone 99. So right now, uh, I don't have anything hit yet, but I'm gonna hit the Z and you're gonna see a little flashing uh, symbol on here letting me know I could uh, change the number. So where it says these two A's, it goes Z comma AA comma E. The E just means enter. So you enter in, or you hit the enter button after you put in your number. So first I'm gonna hit Z, the little Z button here, and you're gonna see it's gonna change. So now I got the little flashing on the first A. So I'm gonna hit 99, cause zone 99. So I hit the Z, so it's ready for the next uh, set of numbers. So it's two A, so it wants two numbers, so I'm gonna hit 99. So I'm gonna go to the panel, and I'm gonna hit 99. One nine, two nine. So see now it's flashing, zone 99, and then E. So the E again is the enter, All right? So I'm gonna hit enter button. Now I'm on the next screen. So currently it says enable software zone strobe disable zone 99. So right now it's enabled and it's flashing. So to change that, we're gonna go to these two buttons here, the next and previous. So I'm gonna hit the next, it's gonna change to disable, then I'm gonna hit en enter when, I'm, when I wanna uh, change it. So right now it's flashing enable. So I'm gonna hit the plus for the next now it says disable, and it's flashing. So before it was enable, now it's flashing disable. So now, I'm gonna hit the enter button, 
and it's going to disable it. So now I get my trouble and I have points disabled lit up now. So I'm going to hit enter. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to back out to show you the trouble. So here's the escape button here. I'm going to hit back out. I'm going to go all the way back out to the front. So now you see I have disable strobes. Hold on. It's giving me the troubles, which is fine. So I have disable software zone, point slash strobes disable zone 99. Right? So I've disabled zone 99. So now if I wanted to, I could also do the same exact process and I could disable the recall, the HVAC, first floor server room, or the security door with these different zones. I'm not gonna do all these, I just wanted to show you one, the process of doing it, and then now we'll show you the process of putting it back. So let's say you're at the end of your day and you've done all your testing, you've cleared your alarms, everything's all good, and now we wanna re-enable the panel. So what I'm gonna do is the exact same process. I'm gonna start by accessing the menu, which is the enter button. I'm gonna hit that. It's gonna give me my two options. Do I want programming or reach status? So one for programming, two for reach status. So I'm gonna hit number one on the board. And then it's gonna ask me for that password. So I'm gonna hit uh, five one. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm gonna hit enter. Now I'm in the menu, so it gives me my trouble. So I just acknowledge it to silence it. And again, I have my different options. I have disable, sensitivity, ver, history, time, and walk test. So number one, one equals disable. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna hit number one. And it's gonna give me the option to choose different uh, disable types. So I can disable by zone, module, uh, detector, output. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do zone. So we already kind of covered what the buttons do. I'm gonna hit the Z for zone. And you're going to see that that little light is going to, or that little uh, symbol is going to be flashing, the two A's. So I'm going to hit the Z. So now it's flashing. So it has the two A's. So I'm going to enter 99 because that's my zone for NAC. So I'm going to hit 9, 9. All right. So now the 99 is there. So zone 99. And then the E just means enter. So I'm going to hit the enter. Now you see it's flashing disable because we currently have it disabled. If it was enabled, it would be saying enable, but it's disabled, right? And we have point disabled, so that tells us we know that the zone 99 is disabled. So I'm going to hit the uh, the next selection key here to change it to enabled. So right now it's disabled. I hit it. Now it says enable, right? So enable software zone 99. So now the last thing I have to do is hit enter and you're going to see this point disabled disappear because it will no longer be disabled. It will be enabled. So I'm going to hit enter. That light went away. So we're no longer disabled and it brings me back out to my menu again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the escape to go all the way back out. And then I'm going to look at my troubles and I'm only going to have that one trouble I originally started with. So I'm hitting enter and I hit next to scroll and it's not showing me anything. So that's how you go through the process uh, of disabling and enabling. Again, you can do it by zone, module, detector, or output. So this panel is set up with zones, so I'm using zones, All right? So that is how you go uh, do the disable points access menu for the Notifier NFS 640 fire alarm panel.